Hi guys, welcome to lesson five in this series on beginning Spanish. My name is Narissa, and in this video, we will look at how to ask and respond to the question, how are you in Spanish? Vamos, let's go. To ask someone the question, how are you in Spanish? You can say, como estas? If you are speaking to friends, family, or persons with whom you are familiar. This is the informal or familiar form. You would use the formal, como esta, or como esta usted, to address persons who you are not close to, persons in authority, or persons older than you as a form of respect. How can you respond? It depends on how you feel, right? So you can say, estoy bien, which means I'm fine or I'm well, or maybe you're feeling very well. You can say, muy bien. Or maybe you're feeling so-so, neither here nor there. You can say, así, así, or regular, or maybe you're not doing very well. You're not feeling very well. You can say, no estoy bien. Or you can simply say, ma. So after you indicate how you are doing, you may want to ask the other person how he or she is doing. And you can do this by simply saying, and you. So in Spanish, y tú, which is informal, and you stayed, which is formal. Yeah? Now, if someone responded to say that he or she was not fine, not doing very well, one possible response you can give is, ¿Por qué? Which means, why? Or you can say, ¿Qué te pasa? Which is one way of saying, what's wrong? Or what happened? Now, you would use this second example if you are familiar with the person. There are other informal ways to ask someone, how are you in Spanish? And we would cover a few examples here. The first is, ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué tal? is one form of saying, what's up? Or, how's it going? You can also say, ¿Cómo te va? Which means, how are you going? Or even, ¿Qué me cuentas? Another way to say, what's up? And one final example for this lesson is, ¿Cómo andas? Which also means, how are you going? And all of these should only be used in informal situations. That's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. You know, the best way to learn a new language is by practicing. So try to use what you've learned when chatting with your family and friends. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to share it with someone who may find it useful. Bye.